Hello, it's Nick, and today I want to show you a tool that offers a new way of user interface design. Using this tool, you can skip the phase of designing UI in Figma or Sketch. This tool is called Versal V0. The principle that the tool uses is similar to AI image generators like Midjourney or DALI. All you need to do is to clearly articulate what you want to build and let the AI generate UI for you. Let's quickly review the interface of this tool. You have an input field for your prompt and the option to make your generation private. Each generation attempt requires 30 tokens. So you have a coin balance at the top of the screen. You can also browse through a collection of examples of interfaces created by other people. Each example comes with a prompt that the person used. Let's type our first prompt. I want to create a section for frequently asked questions. So I will type a FAQ section. Once I submit the prompt, the tool starts to generate three variants for me. Generation happens in real time, so you can see how the tool adds new parts to the section we are creating. The good news is that the tool understood my intention because UI shows the headline frequently asked questions. The bad news is that the variants B and C look unfinished. But the great thing is that you can instruct AI to make changes. Let's choose variant A and provide additional context for the tool to refine it. I start simple and ask the tool to center the information. The headline is in the center now, but the rest of the content is still left aligned, which is bad. Ok, let's ask the tool to provide answers to every question. I want to make it look like a drop-down, meaning I want to click the question and see the answer. The tool understood what I wanted to do and created a proper UI. Also, the tool generated a real copy for the answers. But the downside is that the content in the drop-down is not properly aligned. You can see that the answers to the first and second question go beyond the boundaries of the content container. Let's ask the tool to put our UI content inside a specific container of 550 pixels. Maybe it will help us to fix the issue with the text that goes beyond the boundaries. The result is partially successful. The size of container for the component is 550 pixels now, but the answers are still not properly sized. And the tool forgot that we wanted information to be centered. I will submit another prompt to fix this issue and center my UI component. And another prompt to ask the tool to provide additional examples to the FAQ section. You can use AI to customize the whole UI component or its individual parts. If you want to customize a part of the component, you need to click on this icon located next to the prompt field and select the area that you want to modify. For example, I can highlight the first option and type a prompt. Let's see if a tool can fit all content of this option, both question and answer, within 550 pixels. As you can see, the tool didn't understand what I wanted to do. It aligned the content to the center, but the description still doesn't fit the container. Finally, let's play with the visual styling. I will select an entire section and try to change its color to purple. The tool recolored the whole section, but now the text of the questions is also colored in purple, so we end up with something that's not really usable. The great thing is that we can easily revert these changes because the tool offers a history. Once we're satisfied with the results, we can click on the cut and copy the component that V0 generated for us. V0 generates HTML and React code based on ShadeCN and Tailwind CSS. ShadeCN is a collection of reusable components that you can copy and paste into your web project. This collection allows you to quickly build a robust web application. I will leave a link to the ShadeCN in the description of this video. Pricing is the last thing that I want to talk about. The tool offers a few plans and, luckily, it has a free plan that comes with 200 tokens per month. Every generation attempt takes 30 tokens, so free plan offers for 6 generation attempts. Basic plan costs $10 and comes with 1500 tokens. And the standard plan costs $30 and comes with 5000 tokens. Lastly, a premium plan that costs $50 per month comes with 10,000 tokens and an additional perk called Stealth Mode that allows you to generate design privately. Now let's quickly summarize the pros and cons of V0 tool. 
The tool understands the context and is able to generate your eye in accordance to your needs. It also allows fine-tuning results and the fact that we have not only design but also its implementation significantly speeds up the design process. But the tool has a few downsides. It's a bit slow at this moment and AI engine requires guidance from the human. You need to invest time to fine-tune the design generation. And for simple operations like creating buttons, it's likely that it will be easier to code them manually rather than use AI to generate them. So, this is it. Let me know what you think about V0 in the comments. Thank you.